What's good, everybody? All right, hold on to your hats because this one is straight out of a weird movie. All right, so there's gonna be three people involved: Sarma, Mangalis. Okay, she's uh, the so-called ver- uh, vegan Bernie Madoff. Her attorney, Jeffrey Lichman. Okay who is also uh, the attorney for El Chapo, if you can believe that. Then there's also her now ex-husband, and his name is Anthony Stangis. So I'm going to refer to everybody as Sarma, the woman, her husband, Anthony, and then the attorney, Jeffrey. Okay, so here's it. This is the weirdest. I'm going to leave some links and everything. This is the weirdest story. Anyways, let's get to it. So, Sarma and Anthony... uh, Oh, wait. Let me rewind. So, Sarma starts this uh, restaurant called Pure Food and Wine with, like, an ex-boyfriend and some other investors in 2005. By 10 years later, so it's 2015, the thing is doing great. It's got a lot of celebrity clients. Everybody's happy. Everything's going fantastic. However... In 2010, 2011, through a celebrity Twitter acquaintance, this guy, her husband, or ex-husband now, Anthony, steps into her life. Now, this guy's history, and all this stuff is allegedly, everything's alleged, okay, everything's alleged, but this guy's history is bananas, but anyways, uh, and this is also part of the whole, um, email texts that were leaked to the New York Post and that's how the thing came out about Louis CK and this uh, girl Sarma as well okay but anyways in about 2010 2011 she starts seeing the husband Anthony that's when things start going bad so to make a long story short Sarma is convinced allegedly by her now ex-husband Anthony to take money out of the business okay and this goes on for a certain period of time well she ends up taking two million dollars of total uh, roughly I, I don't know if that's exact number but it's like two million bucks out of the business and then her and the husband Anthony go on the run for 10 months okay so anyways uh, of of that two million, forty thousand of it was to unpaid employees. Okay, so while they're on the run, they're going to casino because the uh, her husband Anthony, this guy's got a real. Um, you gotta just you gotta read it. He's a huge gambler and the whole thing. But anyways, they're spending money on vacations. They're spending money on like watches and nonsense. And then they're spending a lot of money at casinos because the husband likes to gamble. Anyways, this girl, Sarma, is sharp as a tack, okay? So not only has she started this business, okay? She also had three juice bars that she had running Okay, this business was in uh, Manhattan in Gramercy Park, which is expensive, expensive, expensive. Okay, so you have to be doing well to be have a set up shop there to begin with. Okay, so this restaurant's going gangbusters 10 years. Okay, so she's doing that. Not only that, she's selling snacks to Whole Foods and she is also a graduate of one of the colleges that she went to was the Wharton School of Business. Okay, I believe I'm not going to say, but anyways, you have to be super intelligent to, it's Ivy League school, it's got a 9% rate of, you know, taking on uh, students and things like that, so anywho, alright, so she's sharp as a tack, her husband, Anthony, is just like a, a, a con man, okay, according to what the, everything says and, you know, the articles that I'll link, okay, to close this whole thing, Sarma, now they're caught, okay? And how they got caught was because Anthony, the husband, ordered from Domino's using his real name. That's how they got caught. So they got caught in a hotel room 10 months down the road because the husband, genius, uses his real name and they call the cops and boom. So that's how they got caught. So she was fit because it's her business and all this stuff's in her name, blah, blah, blah. 
she's facing 15, 14 to 15 years behind jail for fraud, uh, embezzlement, whatever. Okay? Now steps in the attorney, Jeffrey. Okay? So Jeffrey steps in. Now this guy is a high-powered, kick-ass attorney. Okay? Long story short, he gets her sentence reduced from 14 years in prison. Two million dollars. Okay? Embezzled. Okay, so just imagine if somebody stole a you know a thirty thousand dollar whatever X Y Z, they're going to jail for five years. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, normal person. She is a sharpest attack person. She's owned this business. She's got all this success. Everything blah blah blah. She's embezzled two million dollars. Okay, and went on the run. Okay, so you got that. This guy is so badass as being an attorney. He gets it down to four months in jail, okay? And the husband, ex-husband, Anthony, he get, I don't know if he was, uh, I don't know if uh, Jeffrey was uh, representing him, but whoever was representing him, I guess because his name wasn't on everything or, or whatever, he, he, got, he got sentenced to time served. So there was nothing involved to him. This was all on her. But this just goes to this difference between you know, getting a kick-ass attorney and not getting a kick-ass attorney. So having a lot of money and not having a lot of money. But anyways, during the time that the attorney is representing her, I don't even know how she's, you know, can afford to pay this attorney at this time. But anyways, so during the time that she's being represented by this attorney, they also start having like a romantic affair, which she's all for. Okay, there's a lot of text back and forth and all this stuff. I'm not gonna read it. It's it's creepy. Her end is normal. You know, she's sounds like like a normal human being. The his stuff is it's just I'm not gonna read any of it. Okay, you guys want to read it? Go read it. But anyways, it's just all it's creepy, just weird. Anyways, uh, but anyways, so that's the story. So bottom line, what did we learn here today? We learned if you don't don't. A, don't get involved with people that are con artists and shysters and do some damn research on their god dang background before you link up with them or hook up with them or live with them or marry them or whatever. You better know what the hell you're getting into, okay? Number two, we learned that if you are ever going to commit a crime, you better be rich as hell, okay? So that's number two. So don't commit a crime. How about that? Let's just not do that. Anyways, so that's the story. This girl, vegan Bernie Madoff, made off with $2 million. Most people would be looking at a long time. She gets four months in jail, county, okay? Not prison, county. Anyways, that's the story. Uh, I'm going to leave the links because it is literally, they're going. I know this is going to be a TV show or a movie or something. This is just too weird. There's too many characters involved. And honestly, you could get lost and it's just too much. So anyways, I hope I broke this down short and sweet enough. Uh, you guys, please, uh, if you dig it, do me a favor. Leave a, or subscribe. Leave a like, a comment, share it, whatever. Hope you guys are doing great. Thanks for listening, and I hope you're having a good day. All right, everybody be cool, and I am.